lahat ng all in-house sa loob ng school ginawa lahat to. Of course, yung, yung, yung PCB pinagawa sa factory, pero basically yung design, idea, lahat, overall design, kami ang may gawa. And then, we package all of these and we give it to them their own robot kit on the back end. But, this is what we did on the back end. Yeah. yeah, but here. So this is uh, our agriculture drone prototype. So kaya niya ng 10 to 15 kilos ng payload. Payload down here for liquid. So to be for pesticides, fertilizer. And then uh, GPS, so you could do plan measures with it. So you wear a head uh, Ah, the art glasses, so you can turn like So, if may camera man dito, you can see the people who are in the middle of the you need a room for para wala siya makita the So, uh, like this. It's like this guy is actually here. This robot is actually here. So, the last part is um, um, the three and uh, the, the 3D printer. So, the mga 3D printers are uh, low cost ones that are very. Uh, most of the makers are really using this. And then, See, si Maker Lab is one of the uh, pioneers when it comes to this kind of uh, technology. So this one can make like this toy. The uh, one here, it's made in eight hours. Even mo lang, matulog ka lang. By the time na laro ka nandito, laro kay Bunso, uh, or whatever costume that you can make. And these are also the things that we use for the robot hands that na nakita niya kanina. So you just connect it to motors and it's perfect. The, the face mask recognition, Ted here uh, is a college uh, graduate of e, uh, TUP. Uh, use the TUP, they created this uh, face mask recognition. So what you do is, uh, pag nasa, papasok ka sa gate, for example, put in temperature, and then if I'm wearing a face mask, na will detect it. Yeah. But, access you can get no? but uh, if for example ito tapos wala akong face mask wala without face mask so try again or uh, it uses artificial intelligence to be able to uh, detect kung so, nakinrain natin na things no control yung robot hand no? so nakita niya very sensitive siya so my hands out like that kaya yan tapos lang Ilabas ko yung isa. Sunday niya. Or I can also test it. So it really depends on how fast your internet connection is. So, maglilink siya ng siya. So, pretty cool project. It's called this the Shadow Boss. Hindi nyo doon lang nakita na lang gano'n. Okay, um, the um, Doctor Strange na uh, electric fan. Di ba pag si Doctor Strange, paano po siya mag-gumagayan siya? So, ano so, yan? So, kung iyon. <laughs> so, that's the uh, Doctor Strange electric fan. It uses a simple na, ano lang, na gesture controller na um, with, um, sensor. Itong sensor na to, very cheap uh, to buy, except that nobody really uses it there kasi, I don't know, it's not very popular, but it's pretty cool to be able to use your hands to, to, do, to do all these things. It's a really low-cost na parang it's a spy sa na, na camera, it has a camera that um, ito, very almost live stream siya. And it looks what around less than 1500 It just shows you how how it works. So, you can see here, almost live stream si ma'am. And so, Depends on how you code it. 
mapapalabas mo sobrang bilis for a low cost na, na material. Gano'n sa kalayo? It has 15 meter na range kasi yung pieces wide wide na ayun from dito. And then, tao, may gagawin siya kung may nakita sa tatong tao, pwede niyang gawin niya. Or, pare, bawal ang cellphone, di ba? So, if you have, kung naglabas kayo, i-program mo lang natin. Kaya, yan, cellphone. Pag may nakita sa cellphone sa klase, Okay. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.